everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. Um, so I have a word for you guys and I'm surprised that he's sending me today because my throat's been bothering me a little bit. Um, so, but he's sending me, so here I am. Um, and this word is, um, he actually gave it to me yesterday and he wanted me to release it today. Um, and that's because I have so many other words that he has given me before to release. Um, but he wants this one out now. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. He gave me a lot of scripture, so there's a lot of reading. But I'm just going to highlight it for you guys. Break it down. It is raining. I love it. So, um, this, this word's already blessed, right? Um, showers is, is blessings. Um, so with the scripture that he gave me, this is a kingdom spouse message. It could apply to other things. Uh, always take it back to the Lord. Have him confirm. Have him give you more on it. Um, you can always take what's for you and leave behind what's not for you. Um, as the spirit leads you. Okay, guys, please be responsible. Um, okay, so what God is saying is that there's going to be a lot of restoration when um, you come together with your kingdom spouse. And um, I know um, because we have submitted to God and his process, processes, it's not just one, it's several, right? Um, we know that God is a God of order. He's not going to give us something out of alignment. He's not going to give us something out of his timing. Um, but there are some things that God isn't going to do until you come together with kingdom spouse. And so God is giving this heads up because he doesn't want you to feel unprepared or not ready because you're probably going to think no wait this needs to happen first and uh you might be waiting on that but god is saying he wants you to know like no that's gonna happen when you come together with your spouse okay there's gonna be a certain level of healing there's going to be a lot of growth a lot oh Okay, I'll I'll try and, and squeeze that. He just reminded me of a dream I had about when kingdom spouses are going to come together. What's going to happen there? Um, Holy Spirit, don't let me forget. He'll remind me again. Um, but there's going to be healing. There's going to be restoration. There's going to be a lot of growth. It's just going to be like, wow, when you guys come together. Um, so when it happens, um, your telltale sign because of the scripture that he gave me is that it's, there's going to be a look, there's going to be a glance, kind of like, um, love at first sight type thing. And, um, wow, Lord. Okay. I'm going to share that. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want, okay. Um. Let me go where I'm at right now with my kingdom spouse journey. God has had me covered, covered, completely covered this whole time because I was in process. And that's one of the things that I prayed for is that God cover me. Don't send me no counterfeit. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. I want to be distracted. I don't like, no, I just want one and it's going to be my husband and that's it. Right. And so he has done that. And he has uh, kept me covered. And I know this because nobody would look at me. No man, no nothing. I wouldn't be approached. Um, I wouldn't like nothing. Nobody would turn and look at me like nothing. And I knew it was because God had me covered. Now, recently, all of that changed. Okay, it's weird. Um, 
but it's because I'm I'm ready. I know I'm ready and God is saying I'm ready. And so what he did is he uncovered me so that my husband can see me, so that my husband can um, recognize me as his wife. And I would hope that um, he would only uncover me to my husband, but it's like, no, he just uncovers, right? So now I'm getting approached. Now um, men are looking at me and it, it, and I know what it is. I know it's because I'm uncovered, right? And so your kingdom spouse, he's see, where if he didn't see you before, he's going to see you now. And there's, there's going to be a look. There's going to be a glance. Even if it's somebody you've already known since now is the time and God has uncovered you uh, because you're ready um, there's going to be a look like <gasps> like I'm saying even if he already knew of you if he already knew you before he's gonna see you differently now he's gonna see you differently now there's gonna be a look and in that look that moment it's gonna be like fireworks it's gonna be like fireworks it's gonna be like like how come I didn't see her like that before or how come but it was God God had you covered um, but now that he has uncovered us uh, his daughters for his sons now the sons will be able to recognize um, their wives right um, and <clears throat> So um, once this happens, this coming together, this realization, um, it, it's all going to fall like a ton of bricks, okay? Um, and you, everything's going to move so quickly. And God is saying uh, the reason why everything's going to be moving so quickly, um, and God has said this before, it's just going to happen so fast, but God had never said why. And in this word, he's revealing, he's saying why everything's going to happen so fast. And it is because both of you have endured the process. Both of you have been sowing. And both of you are fertile ground. Fertile ground in every area. Um, you are fertile ground. So once you come together, it's like harvest there's healing there's restoration there's a lot of things that um might be unfinished it once you come together like that like that just like quick it's going to happen quick um and god is saying it is because you are fertile ground um not only do you receive the words but you let them take root and because of that now there's going to be so much fruit and that's what this word he just says with every scripture that he gave me it's like fruit 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 like it's never ending fruit it's year round it's a different kind of fruit every month just around the clock just fruit 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 and the fruit is to feed people it's it's to serve as food and this is spiritual food okay it's it's how you share god how you share jesus how people experience jesus through you and now it's two of you two are better than one and um you yield more for your efforts and that's why there's gonna be this like explosion that's how i'm seeing it wow there's going to be this like explosion of fruit, fruitfulness, so much fruit, so much harvest. Wow, I can see it like so much. Um, and another reason why it is because your source is the, the river of life. Um, you're completely submerged in it. 
in Jesus, that, that river just keeps flowing. You keep giving. So God keeps giving. So you become a fountain, just like a fountain. It's just a beautiful, beautiful flow. Um, okay. And that obedience, obedience has been good. God is saying, wow, wow, this is for somebody. Um, God is thanking his sons and daughters for their obedience obedience doesn't always well almost never is obedience comfortable um you feel like crazy <laughs> it's a lot of walking by faith obedience it's a lot of walking by faith and faith pleases god so the father is pleased wow wow this is my beloved son this is my beloved daughter with whom i am well pleased because of your faith because you've been walking in obedience and that requires faith a lot of times what he sends us to do what he wants of us doesn't make sense and we feel like crazy people but God is so pleased and he's saying thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for obeying. Thank you for walking by faith. Thank you. I am well pleased with you. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, yeah, and the restoration, um, a lot of healing from like past hurts, uh, past hurts, past relationships, uh, maybe even traumas. Just know that who God has for you is ready and prepared and equipped to handle those things. That's why when you guys come together, it's going to be like a healing bomb for those things. All of a sudden, it's just going to be like healed <laughs> like that. And this is so that uh, it serves as confirmation that this is your person. It's going to serve as confirmation that, yes, this person is from God. This person is going to help you heal and move forward. When it's not from God, it's like you're hitting. It's kind of like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God, he's so funny. Okay, this is what he just gave me. It's kind of like a fly. I don't know if you guys have seen flies and they just keep flying into the window and they're just hitting themselves. That's what it's like when it's not from God. Okay, like it's just, and you, you just keep hitting that window, like, you know. Um, but when it's from God, there's this beautiful flow, there's healing there's there's growth there's fruitfulness that's why the bible says you will know them by their fruit look at the fruit okay a lot of times uh some of you have wasted a lot of time on counterfeits and that has been to distract you from the real thing from you reaching that fullness of healing of, of fruitfulness because that is you becoming who God created you to be and of course the enemy doesn't want that so he's gonna set up uh, delays and send counterfeits you know to distract you to keep you from getting where you're supposed to be okay but God sends his people God sends his messengers his prophets to let you guys know like kind of wake up let it just like you know receive that revelation use discernment apply the word to your situation because it's truth if you're confused it's because you're not living by the word of God in every situation we are to apply the word it's not there just to read and for us to know we're supposed to live it you don't know what to do um in your parenting what does the word say and then do what the word says you don't know what to do in your business there's something or in a relationship so what does the word say what does god say a lot of times we turn to people and people are as messed up and clueless as we are and it's like jesus is like i'm right here come to me 
we are supposed to be living his word apply the word what does the word say apply the word and if it doesn't align to his word that means it's a lie <clears throat> apply the word it'll lead you to truth and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free don't be like that fly that keeps hitting the the window like no stop <laughs> um so yes so there's gonna be a lot of growth a lot of fruit good fruit because there can be bad fruit too but good fruit there's gonna be healing that and this is stuff that only god can do only god this comes from god and that's how you will know if 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 you're not growing if you're not progressing if you're not receiving healing um in this relationship then it's not from god because his word says otherwise apply the word does does this relationship am i getting healed do i have peace do i and if the answer is no then it's not from god a lot of times we're like, oh, but uh, love and all that, 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 those are like distractions, distractions. Please know the difference. Apply the word. Seek peace and pursue it. That's another verse. Do I have peace in this? When it's from God, God will give you peace. Even if it makes absolutely no sense. But if it's from God, he will give you peace. The Bible says, seek peace and pursue it. And if there's no peace, it's not from God. God is the Prince of Peace. That's why, again, apply scripture, apply the word to your situation. And there's the truth for you. That's just discernment, basic discernment. As you grow in discernment, as you are, are applying that word and using it as discernment, that means you're living by God's word, then God will give you more discernment where it's like you can discern spirits. That's a whole nother level. <clears throat> you can discern intentions. You can discern people's hearts. It's weird. Like God will show you so much, so much. God has even shown me people in the spirit. Yeah. you In the physical, they may look super hot and healthy and all this stuff. But then he shows you the person in the spirit and it's the opposite. Yeah. Even some people are... Um, God has shown me that they're blobs. They're, they don't even have bodies. They're just blobs and he gave me scripture to back that up that's another video another word but uh, use the word apply the word live by the word and you will know okay that was for somebody there who's probably confused god is not the author of confusion just know that god is not the author of confusion but of peace peace okay because when something's from God, even if it's like the most horrible situation, he will give you peace through it. And if you don't have peace, it's not from God and run. Okay, pursue peace. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, he had reminded me right now of that. I had had a dream a while back. I was not planning on sharing this one. Um... So I don't have the date right now. I'll, I'll put it in the description box. Um, in this dream, it was uh, me and Kingdom Spouse. <clears throat> a blur. Don't you love when he does that? Um, a blur. He was so, I don't know. I couldn't see who it was. But I could feel his spirit. I could feel his spirit. Uh, very sweet gentle very like strong like a protector I could totally feel his spirit and um, so it was me and Kina's spouse and there were other couples 
and we were coming together we were meeting at a lobby in a hotel um and then we all go to the restroom and this restroom was a couple's restroom like a co-ed restroom i don't know if you guys have seen uh, in public uh places there's like a family like a family restroom where like parents can go in with their children and stuff like that right like a family restroom well this was like a couple a couple's restroom and so we all go into this restroom and we take turns going to the restroom and then um washing um our hands right and um i i came out of the stall of the restroom and I walk up to the, the sink, the vanity, and King of Spouse was there waiting for me. And the way he served me, I was like, wow. I don't know if you guys have gone like to places where in the restroom there's like uh there's a person there and they they even put like the soap in your in your hand and they hand you the napkin like you don't even have to do anything they're just giving it to you as soon as you need it okay that's how kingdom spouse was i was like oh, like you don't have to do all this but he he just that was jesus in him just serving just just serving like without me asking anything or wanting it or he just did it because it's who he is so that's something that God showed me about kingdom spouse is that he's gonna be uh he allowed me to feel his spirit and then uh he showed me how he's going to be just serving just like you know catering like serving um me so that's for some of you guys too also so if you're in a relationship and you're not experiencing that because god's gonna send you his best god wants his best for you he wants equally yoked people that do, and that just doesn't mean that oh they believe in god no someone can believe in god and then not believe in the spirit and then have somebody over here who's fully operating in the spirit that's unequally yoked even though they both believe in god one is fully like submitted and the other one's like oh yeah i just go to church on sundays and that's unequally yoked guys that's not equally yoked what god brings together is equally yoked equally you will have uh, similarities in your purpose. Um, you will be about the same level uh, in your intimacy, in your commitment, in in your um, uh, spiritually. Like it, it, there's an equalness, and when God does that, he brings these people together. It's just like it's like double, triple, because he's included. So it's like. That's what I'm saying. It's like this explosion of fruitfulness, of, of just fertile everything, just like amazing. And all of that, it's, it's not like it's for God to be glorified. That's another thing you should ask yourself. I don't know why this keeps coming up. Um, is the relationship glorifying God? Is the relationship glorifying God? Are people looking on and being like, oh, wow, I see God in that relationship. Wow, God put them together. Wow, I want that. Like, wow, like I'm waiting on God because I want that. Is God being glorified? And the answer is no. It's not from God. When it's from God, there's peace, there's a flow. God just gets glorified. There's fruit, there's healing, there's growth. There's there's all this stuff. And let me tell you that waiting for that one will be worth it. It doesn't matter how long you wait. It, it won't matter. God will redeem the time. God will redeem it all, but wait wait for
for that one and don't settle for the first one that comes like don't or don't i don't even like me i don't even even entertain anything i've been getting messages and emails and all like i don't even mess with that i open no doors like god has told me there's gonna be a look there's gonna be a glance so I know that it's not going to come through social media to through any of that like messages. No, it's going to happen in person. And that's what God has told me. So I believe it. So it doesn't matter what kind of messages I'm getting or who like it doesn't matter because it's not aligning with what God told me. That's like standing firm on what God said. Standing firm on his word. God told me it was going to be in person. I don't need to waste my time replying. And my time or their time. Replying and entertaining all these other things. Like that's just only going to delay me. God told me it was going to be in person. So I'm waiting to meet that person in person for that look for that glance and whether it's somebody i've known or somebody brand new like only god knows yeah so the breakdown of the dream um is that um again it's just when uh you guys come together and since it was in a hotel room a hotel room is a temporary place right it's a temporary place. So as soon as you guys come together, there's going to be a season, a temporary season where God just wants to have both of you. Before you bring in family, before you bring in, it's just, he just wants you two in the very beginning because there's a process that you guys need to go through together before he releases you as a couple and uh before bringing in friendships and uh family and all of that there's gonna be a season uh when you first come together where it's just gonna be you two you guys have to go through that season and it's gonna be a season of deliverance of healing that's what the restroom signifies there's going to be healing. There's going to be deliverance that only you guys can experience with each other. And this is primarily to heal from previous relationships, from previous hurts. God has anointed and graced your person, your kingdom spouse, to um, for you to heal that. you guys will experience that together and you need that needs to get done don't rush into you know take that time coming together it's very important that you guys heal those final wounds those final things like that god wants healed before bringing in family and friends and all that he wants you guys solid as a couple first okay and kingdom spouse is going to be a server <laughs> completely just serving you like a queen and for me it was unexpected because i honestly have never been have never experienced being treated that way so i was blown away and for somebody it might be like okay he gave you soap so what but for me, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Like, he's so, like, attentive. You know, um, that's how God showed me that he's going to be. And for many of you, that's the kind of uh, spouse he's sending you to. Yeah. Um, a lot of us have been through a lot. <laughs> a lot, okay? Um, and so... Uh, because you've waited and you've endured and submitted god is bringing you together um with your spouse like any day now any day now so be ready um and please heed the instruction that he has provided here in this word um 
take notes if you have to come back and and listen to it again um but yeah yeah and so i think that's it uh for this word uh the fruitfulness fertile ground growth food healing restoration yeah it's gonna be amazing and well worth the wait well worth the wait um yeah so that's it for this word um god bless you guys bye